everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a cute little fall DIY. We are just going to be taking these cute little wooden pumpkins that you see these three sections here are the ones that are kind of a little elevated off of the background. And we're gonna be just sprucing these guys up. So simple and easy. I bought, well I've had this, but this is antique parchment from Apple Barrel. You get this from Walmart. I think, again, they're 54 cents a piece. And we are just going to be painting the background. Now it's gonna be okay if you get paint on the elevated sections because we're going to be covering them, but we are gonna remove this little uh, bow they have here. And don't worry too much about getting that hot glue off. If you want to, just heat that up and pull that off but we're gonna be covering it anyway. So I'm just going to pull these off of there and removing the tags. And we are just going to very easily paint our lovely little wooden pumpkins here. And I love these little round sponge brushes. They are definitely my favorite, always have been. And we are just going to paint our pumpkins. I just wanted to kind of give them a little bit of an off-white color. Like I said, go right in between there. It's gonna be okay to get paint on here because we're gonna be covering them anyway. So it will not be a big deal. Just like our little piece of or a little uh, chunk of hot glue there. Totally okay, because we're gonna cover it anyway. That's my favorite, when you can just kinda go ahead and go about your painting and not have to really worry too much about being precise because things get covered, <laughs> which is fantastic. I'm gonna actually just kinda turn this light up a little bit here. There we go. So you can see there, it's just, well, look at the, the stem there. So it's just a little bit of a difference. Just trying to hold our little string here out of the way. Now I'm probably gonna go over this twice. Just, and it'll dry pretty quick because you're just going on real thin. And trying not to get too much paint there on the little piece of rope so we can hang it. But yes, yeah, so we're just gonna go right over top of them like that. Now again, this hot glue, if it does bother you, just a little bit of heat and you'll get that right off. I'll worry about that after we're done here. Because we are going to glue on top of that. You might want to remove the hunk of glue that's there just so your bow that you put on there stays a little better. But this is definitely my kind of painting, just kind of going, going along and not really having, again, to worry about precision. Just kind of slapping that paint on there. Just making sure you get in there and around all the little edges here. And then again at the top. So we're just gonna do that. Go over this twice just so maybe the color stands out a little bit because it does soak into the wood a little bit, but that's the easiest part. Actually, this whole thing is easy. Um, <laughs> you know how I like to do it. So I am just going to let this dry, which will only take a second, go over it for the second time, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that they are painted, we are going to take one of these removable tile decals, the peel and stick, 
this is the one I'm starting with. I also have like that off white and gold one that we're gonna be using on the second one. And this is what we are going to be using to cover our three little elevated sections. So the best way for me to do this is I'm going to just line this up on top of the pumpkin straight as I possibly can here and I'm just going to take the flat side of the what am I trying to say the paintbrush here now I'm wondering maybe if you could do it this way and maybe trace it but I'm going to do it this way so I'm going to hold this down just trying to make sure I have at least the top up here and I'm going to take the flat side of this and I'm just going to find the outside of where we're sticking this and I'm just going to press down by holding this still. I'm going to press down here to create an outside just so you see what I'm doing here. That way we could just cut it out and have it stick and then stick it on. I'm sorry. I'm just going lightly rubbing right along the part that is elevated so we can get like a little bit of a stencil here and then cut this right out. So can you see that? There we go. So you see how it's like elevated there? So that is what we're going to use to then just cut out our piece that we're going to be using to stick on that elevated section. And just carefully cutting the shape out. That's the good thing. You just press down on there and it gives you your little outline so you can get a pretty accurate cut. And again, you can just line it up after if you need to do a little bit of trimming. That's fine. going to lay it on and then cut around it but I was afraid to like dig up the wood on the pumpkin so I chose not to do that so then you have your cut out see and then you'll just peel the backing off and stick that right on top but we're just gonna leave that piece to the side and now we are going to line up our next piece here and again just go around it with our little paintbrush I mean you could use whatever but this is just what I had laying here and just go right around that so we have a little stencil but again I know you can see that already before I pull it off so and we're just gonna cut right across here and then we'll do the same thing for this side <clears throat> excuse me and it'll be perfect all right so we have all of our pieces cut out here so we are just going to peel the backing off and then stick them on <laughs> our little elevated pieces and now that we cut this I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get the backing off but we will get it that's like always my worst is like trying to get any type of backing off of something like when you're wrapping presents in a bow and that we seem to have like a terrible time <laughs> with it I don't know it's like the fingernails or something try to bend it you could probably bend it back there we go nope that wasn't it 
I'm trying here. It looks like it's there, but it's not because it's still on the, still has some paper on it. So after you finagle with this for a little while, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. I'm telling you, these fingernails are sometimes a curse but we're gonna play with this for a second. Okay, so messing around with it for a little bit. I did get the middle piece off. So we are just gonna line this up and then just press down to stick on the center. I'm telling you, it's giving me a little bit of a run for my money. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm actually, <clears throat> excuse me, going to take a second to sit here and get this back off because I don't think you guys want to watch me struggle. <laughs> okay, so I got all the backs off, tore it a little bit so I had to lose a little glue, but they are now on. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but just pushing them down so they stick. And like already, look at this, right? It already just spruced up this little tiny wooden pumpkin and I already made it just something fabulous. You guys know how I am with the easy <laughs> but beautiful DIYs. So we do have this one done. I also got on the gold and like that off-white color in the back. And in all honesty, this is about all we're doing. We are going to add, um, either now i have a couple things here to give it that fall look with the um like the fall colors we have a couple things we can do now we can just add like a really cute flower there on the top we can find our excuse me favorite ribbon and make a bow there's a few things that you can do for this and it's completely your call so i'm just going to dig around for some stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so I got all of our flowers, berries, things. I dug through everything. Um, <laughs> I just changed my mind too, because you guys know that that is what I do from time to time is completely change my mind. <laughs> Halfway through, we're almost all the way through. So instead, I cut off the string at the top and I'm going to make these stand. So. What we're going to use is just some tumbling blocks here. Right at the very bottom of the two wider parts, we're just going to throw some hot glue there. Take a tumbling block and glue that on. And we're going to do that to both sides here. Just like so. Then we are just going to go straight down the middle here with some hot glue, add another one standing straight up. There's some support here for some support here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And then we are just going to add hot glue right on the front of both of these and add another tumbling block. Again, for some support for when it leans back, just like so. And now we have, ooh, off camera, a very cute standing um, fall decor piece, which makes me happy. So that is what your back will look like. It will stand. Now I'm just kind of playing with leaves and berries, trying to figure out flowers and everything else. So, again, what I love about this is everybody's style and preference. And it looks like it's crooked. It is not. What I did notice though, was after I got on all of these pieces, they don't look like they're completely centered, but it is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna take some of these dark red leaves here and just took a, two of them that are connected and I'm gonna cut those apart. Um, what was I saying? Oh. 
but the good thing about it is everybody's style is so different tastes are different and that's the best thing about this because there is so many different things you could do as far as even choosing the color of your background here the color of your leaves the color of your flowers if you don't want to do flowers if you want to do bows or ribbon or this is just when I do them it is just a reflection of how I see it but you do not have to do it exactly the same way if you have something else in mind when you're looking at it feel free to do what best suits you so right here with the flower part I'm going to leave that stem on there and I'm just going to hot glue all around it and we are going to stick it just right through this hole here. Hot glue will then dry cool in there and that is what we have so far and I think the only other thing I'm going to add is some of these um, little black and I have ours flowers stuck in here some of these black and maroon berries I'm just gonna add them to the sides so I'm just gonna pop a little chunk off of there hide the stem part here underneath the leaf there so you won't even see the stem just add some hot glue to it and shove it on in there just hang on to it for a second so it does have a chance to cool before you start moving along. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Just grabbing a chunk, some hot glue, and then just going right under the leaf there and letting that cool for a second. And look how cute. Does not take long. You can see a little bit of a ridge there because I pushed on it a little too far over, but you can smooth out. But again, so simple. <laughs> and I love, you guys know I love simple. And I think it's adorable. So, just a wooden pumpkin, some stick tile, stick tile. <laughs> wow. Uh, removable tile decals and your favorite flowers, berries, ribbon, bowls, whatever you want to add to it and it's just that easy just that easy and just some tumbling blocks so you can make them stand versus having to hang them um i'm just gonna hop off here finish the second one and then i'll be right back to show you both okay guys so there they are well, let me turn that air conditioner off i didn't realize it was running this whole time so hopefully that wasn't really loud for you um but look how cute right so again, so many different options as far as flowers and leaves and berries, your centers, whatever you want to do, switch it up. But I think they came out so stinking cute. I definitely love that we switched it up and made them sitting instead of hanging. I only have so much room to hang things, um, <laughs> but I think they came out fabulous. But that is my personal opinion. I'm a little biased. Um, <laughs> you could also paint the back around a different color, whatever you want to do, but so easy, barely took any time. I think they're gorgeous. I hope you guys do too. And I'll see you, uh, I think tomorrow for, I can't remember now. I don't know which one I'm doing tomorrow. If I want to go shopping or if I want to do another DIY. So I guess we'll see. So <laughs> until next time. Bye now. Ooh.